my first visit to U of H, my brother and I got in his little red car. I think he was applying and we drove up there and I was like, this is it, I'm going here. Just like that. I knew I wanted to be around artists and communications made a lot of sense. So what a place like University of Houston is making this promise just down the street in this big city that the world is just waiting there for you. I remember the last day at campus and I remember being so happy and so proud. And also, you know, no more tuition payments. <laughs> so from there, I quickly got to LA. I, I really wanted to work with artists and ended up um, on my friend's couch. The day after I think I moved there, I was with her and her friend and he said, why don't you come work with me at this animation studio? I always like to say the wind blew me into film and animation. I got a call one day from Pixar and hey, you wanna come up and interview? And it was at this time where things were going a bit more digital and 3D and CG was what everyone was talking about. And I had done a commercial or two in that kind of space. So I went up to the San Francisco area and interviewed and I was like, that was the best interview of my life. And I, you know, I got that job and moved up to the Bay Area. I was a producer for the short film division. Anything that wasn't a feature film kind of came my way. That led to some fun things, including an Academy Award evening or two. The wind blew me to the Academy Awards. Yeah, it's incredible. We won two Academy Awards, and more recently I won an Emmy, which I'm very proud of. I, after Pixar, I worked at Google for a while and started a story group there with other colleagues. I'm here by grace, but I'm also here because of some hard work, some luck, and some context. But maybe I also deserve it. My family is my most important thing. I have two teenagers, so there's a lot of um, energy in my house. And my husband who works in the similar business as well, and so we have a lot in common there. And so the future for me is still very much still rooted in the past of artistry and storytelling. This company I'm working with right now is very generous to artists. It's called Epic Games. I think they always have the future in mind, and so I we're very aligned in, in that way. I'm always proud to say that I went to University of Houston. This honor, it feels like U of H reached out from my past and grabbed me and and I, I'm feeling like this immense amount of trust. I'm deeply touched. I try and go out into the world and give it the best version of myself. Presenting Karen with her medallion is Sherry Correll and Catherine Miller. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Karen Dufalo. to these things. Hi. <laughs> I'm not sure at all how I got here. I haven't played in a Super Bowl. <laughs> I haven't been in a rocket ship, Bonnie. <laughs> um, I can't sing mariachi, but I do love it. Um, I haven't started a nonprofit or scholarship, but I'll go, I'll follow you anywhere. So just let me know. I will. But I am surrounded by friends and family, and people who gave me the space to be me, and generosity. I'm surrounded by gifts of generosity, the generosity of a public magnet school education and teachers, uh, the generosity of scholarships and a Pell Grant, the generosity of a world-class, affordable university system, loans that could be paid off, and it, that all enabled me to plant um, and then grow my future self. And the generosity of friendship, the selfless and blinding love of my, one of my BFFs, who I met at University of Houston, Sherry, is here, <laughs> and who let me share her textbooks um, when I couldn't afford to buy them for myself, but we would sort of hustle that. <laughs> That's 30 something years. And my other BFF, Catherine, her bottomless, always on, always there love and support and honesty, um, her drop everything nature, who 
will come join me whenever and wherever. Thank you. Thank you to the University of Houston team. Mike, where are you in your red suit? He's gotten a lot of shout outs, but he deserves all of them. Um, and Brad, you just got a great shout out and uh, you made us all look really good tonight. Uh, I'm sure you make everyone in your life look really good. And Nancy Clark, I will miss your emails when this is all over. <laughs> there you are. So you can still email me. We can, yeah, okay, we can text. We can move to a texting relationship. Um, I wanna thank my parents who are here and uh, my family, my teenagers who are right now on another stage in Oakland, California, in a performance of Chicago the Musical, singing their hearts out, I'm sure. Uh, we've had a lot of hairspray and red lipstick in our lives recently and in our house. A lot of hairspray and red lipstick. And mostly I wanna thank my husband, my partner, Dan. You are my wonder wall, after all. So thank you, University of Houston, everyone who made this thing happen. For me, you, like I said, reached out from my deep past, and I hope to continue to make you proud. Thank you for noticing. Thank you for the recognition. And go Cougs. Yeah. <laughs>